I'm Cassandra Baer, and I'm the niece of Barbara Hawthorne. I would like to talk about my aunt, Barbara Hawthorne. There are many, many wonderful stories about Aunt Barbara, but today I would like to t tell the court about her love and acceptance. Aunt Barbara did not have children of her own, but she loved her nieces and nephews and all our children fiercely. And each time I saw her, she let me know I was precious to her. She was not quiet about this love. As I met her friends after she died, they knew who I was and about my life from the stories Aunt Barbara had shared with them. She was especially good with teens and young adults. In my early years, I shared my deepest thoughts, hopes, and feelings with her. I found many letters from me in her house that detailed my joys and traumas, and with her, I felt free to explore ideas about religion and philosophy without fear of rejection or judgment. She truly wanted to know what I thought. This was so important in my transition to adulthood, and I'm sure I am not alone in having these conversations with her. Barbara made and kept many, many friends throughout her life, and she was actively in touch with friends from grade school, high school, and college. She had euchre friends and crochet friends, work friends and massage friends, and she made friends wherever she went, including sitting next to someone at the casino or checking out at the health food store. She gathered friends into her circle and loved them regardless of circumstance. She accepted them as they were, where they were. That night when he shot and killed my aunt, he killed a person who would have listened to his story and welcomed him. Such was her love and acceptance. Instead, he took from her friends Barbara's love and peace. And he took from Trulilla, Mary Kate, Ella, Will, Tessa, Silva, Thea, and Marco the opportunity to explore and be heard and accepted as they transitioned into adulthood, their special Aunt Barbara time. And he took from me and from all of us our Aunt Barbara who loved us unconditionally. Right.